Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my um, project going to paint the way to 5K. So, um, yeah. So I don't know exactly the total amount of this because I literally just got home 15 minutes ago. I had to work all day. So my makeup looks like shit. You know why? It's been on my face at least 7.20 a.m. And it's like 10.43. So I did a little touch uppy. And so, yeah, if it looks like shit, you know why. Um, so let's get started. So, yeah, I'm going to, whenever I have the total amount, it's going to be on my subtitle, on my title. So I started the makeup portion, so I did finish up this alley, um, this Iron Beauty Concealer. I have it in, in um, shade 4, and it's a little bit too dark for me. I like it, but I wish it was a shade lighter. Um, funny, I um, I gave the one that I got from Box Charm to Rania because it was too light for me. I kind of wish I just kept it. Because this guy, and I purchased this guy, I thought, I was like, okay, sweet, it popped on Box Charm. Yeah, this guy's too dark, so I was like, screw me. Then this is another one I got from Box Charm. This is a um, Tarte C. Um, this is the this is a, um, the Glone Glotion. This is Glotion. This was just okay, not my favorite. It's kind of whatever, you know. It did. It was like a, um, a glowy primer type of thing. And then this is like I, I got from TMU. Um, he's like a little pre makeup base gel. This was nice. I did. This is like actually not too bad. The only problem is that you didn't get much out of the product in it. You think the whole tub was full, but now you get like a fourth of it. So it's kind of like not really worth it. And I got a little bleed powder. This guy, if you have um, a high medium deep, if you have more like neutral tones um, or like more pink tone, you will love this brand. It's amazing for that. Um, I guess where this like my my hair is dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have that, um, but if you have warm tone or anything like, or my skin is terracotta, Stay away from it. It's way, it was really too pink tone on me. I had to mix it and it worked fine for that. And I can get by with it. So this is the second one I pan. Um, I have a little bit left. I just kind of frank it with my um, Makeup Revolution. And this guy right here is, um, and this is funny, it's the same shade. It's an incandescence. It's a um, Seelix Heaven Hue Highlighter. Um, definitely grab the, um, the liquid ones. Don't grab the putty ones because the putty ones are very, that's kind of like the shade of it. Um... They will get dry. If you want to get like a putty highlighter, grab the ones from ColourPop. I hate saying that, but I got the ones from ColourPop. Then it's our palette. So it's um, Cookie Cuts Men's one of the girls was like, I got the same palette. I was like, yeah. And then she didn't use it. I'm like, that's the reason, reason why I panicked because I wasn't using it. But yeah, um, so there's that guy. So these are the um, the ones, of course, you see the cardboard are the ones I popped out. The ones, all the pans are in a different palette. So there's that guy. So I'm not going to actually count... Um, these I'm just going to show you to them because they are deposited and I haven't really technically used them up. So this is a peach one and this is, I am going to show you my empties, but I'm not going to count it towards my empties if that makes sense. So we got the clover and I got the peach. Um, I do really like them. Of course, the old things are deposited, anything like that. Again, I do want to keep the clover one because he's so dang cute, but I wish I can like get the 10 a little bit so it's not so bulky. So I am going to keep the 10 for that one and figure out how to get him so he's not so bulky and there's the peach one is all of course or depotted and anything like that of course i don't want to show you the palette because of course it's all depotted and that z palette but i am just going to show you so here's this little guy from blue cosmetics i did actually finish the um the bronzer then the blush i um it broke and then the highlighter i franken in so oops uh, but there's that guy um these are very pigmented very nice i do like them but yet i'm not into old face palettes because I, again of course it's always like the bronzer I could use and the blush I could use, but I didn't really like it. it didn't look cute on my skin. I like I like more peachy or tiny and blushes. They look better on me. These and I, I also love hot pink, but I can pull it off. So this okay. Okay, so I did finish up two blushes. Well, I franken these guys together into a blush. So um, and then of course another one. So the. Then we got the Luminoso, um, of course, classic. He's similar to the Orgasm was. Then they decide, of course, he gets, oh, no, what this guy looks like by now. So this, that one. Then this one was an old MAC blush I had, and he was kind of like a super um, orange, and I used it over my face. So I did hit um, pretty decent paint on him, so I decided just to put these two in. Of course, I had a lot of bad in this guy. So I had these guys together, then I basically I didn't really like it. So I mix it to the, on the two together with another Franken blush, and that's what I got together. And that's what I have on my cheeks. Surprisingly, this dude is actually staying up pretty good. So the whole Frankeniness, you see that in I think um, Graveyard. 
So there's those two. I'm so glad I have two freaking blush, two blushes out of the collection. This guy, I believe, was um, Pat McGrath eyeshadow that I used as a highlighter. It was nice. Um, then, of course, there's the other, wait. Yeah, there's the, um, so let's actually talk about, here's the highlighter from the Glam Light palette. So he was okay. He was very icy. So I do have two foundations. Now, this guy went bad on me, and this guy um, had, like, I used this guy up so quickly. Um, I was surprised. I had a little bit less, so I just put it into my one foundation, but this guy did go bad to me. I tried to use it as much as possible, even though he looks like he's completely empty, but um, the only problem is that he is starting to stink pretty bad. So at least I got at least most of it out of my collection. Um, so I decided to pull, pop into a whole foundation, then I was just like, then all of a sudden it just like, it just turned rancid. So there's those two. Okay. Here's this little guy from L'Oreal. It's a true match on Power Blender. I just popped the thing out. This guy is old. Um, I don't think I can even find this on Google anymore, so I'm just going to count it as $1.25 because that's where I got it at Dollar Tree. So there's that guy. And I believe my shade was like, um, uh, Cool 9 or something like that. Why? I used it for like a bronzer and it worked fine. He's still in my Franken bronzer. Okay, so this little guy uh, is from Dollar Tree. These guys are just, in my opinion, just skip at all. So here's the brush. I just, it has kind of like a really weird smell to it, but it doesn't go bad. It just has that smell to it that I just don't really like. And these guys smudge everywhere. So I'm like, eh. So the other one I declared as well. Then here's this guy, and this is a Physician Formula um, Butter Glow Wand. Um, these guys are very sheer. Even on my skin, it barely showed up on me, and I'm not that deep at all. I'm like, I'm like tan. Um, but it did barely show up on me. So if you like any way of like lighting me, like in that, um, I know um, Beanie Strix, she got the medium deep one, and she's about mine, and it barely, sh she's probably a little bit lighter on me. And it barely, she's more of a medium. I'm gonna be more of like a tan. And this guy show up on her. So, um, but any than that, anything darker than harsh, um, stay away from these guys. These are just not um, tan and upscan friendly. But if you can't find any bronzers to save your butt um, for a fair skin tone, yeah, definitely go for that. So there's a cap for that guy. Then we got a little cream um, bronzer. And this way he's completely gone. Um, this guy I got from TMU. I really did like this one. Um, I haven't actually bought too much from TMU lately. I just my um, pillow. Um, Lulu got uh, some wings and my new phone for my my um, mattress. So, but other than that, I haven't actually been shopping shopping on TMU. So there's that guy. And then I got one of my lip gloss out, and that's from um, Too Faced. If you haven't tried these, they're very nice. Um, but wait until they go on a discount or I don't want to say anything like that because, in my opinion, they not, they are nice, but man, I went through this guy quick. Because he's only 0.15. Um, he's like, oh, yucky dokey. Um, and this guy is in, uh, is a juicy lip oil, and this is in grape soda. I really do like these. These are very nice. They do have like a little bit tingling, but nothing like sensationally, like burning shit out of your lips. If you want to know what's on my lips, it's actually. A gloss that I got from Dollar Tree. This is by Be A Pure, and this is a lip jelly. And this is, um, and yeah, it's where the pink shade is because you know, the Dollar Tree does not have names on their products. I do really like it. I have like a little bit of the lip liner too. Okay, now let's, and then we have a list sample from L'Oreal. This is the Rouge a Signature from L'Oreal. Really do like this one. Um, Ronnie has sent me this guy and he doesn't have the shade on him, but this guy was super easy to pan. He was very, like, a very meany. Okay, here's the little glam light thing I was talking about. So there's the pan from here. So I'm just going to stick him back in there. So there's that guy. So the bronze I used for setting palette, the highlight I decided to franken a little bit. And then the other guy I used kind of like mixy mixy and he's um like more into my um franken um i do a lot of franken you can't tell um franken um finishing powder so this that guy um this guy i will only recommend if you're more like tan 
I mean, more like medium skin tone because the highlighter on that guy was just like, I could use it, but man, if I want like a, I was like, obviously I got a highlighter on and yeah, that's cool. But mostly I would just use it for the inner corner because it was just like white, like really weird. Now time for mascaras. So start, actually we've got a lipstick. So we got, um, cut, what's this brand called? Um, hello. Lancome. This guy's old. This is um, the Intense Fuchsia. So this is what he looks like. He had a little bit of leaven. His head chopped off as I was applying him. So I just put him in my Franken brush. Blush. I really do like it. It's nice. But man, he was old. So I do have a Lancome um, Mini Primer. These are very nice. Um, they'd help any uh, mascara um, make it a little bit nice. If you haven't tried Lash Primer, I definitely recommend it. it Looks like he had a crack on his head. Um, but yeah, very nice. I do recommend. Um, but again, always grab minis from Lancome because um, they last about the same as a full size. Um, actually, I think the minis last longer. Usually they last you about three months and then they start to get flaky. Then that's when you have to pitch them. But um, I know I tried the full size and they actually last less. So definitely try grab the minis. The DMS um, plumber came in the other day and he fucked up my toilet. So yeah, it's on it again. Freaking idiots. So this is a polite society. Um, great lashes of all time. Kind of hilarious because I know um, Juicy Jazz tried this one and it flaked on her. Um, this guy did not on me. I Of course, she probably had a full size. I had a mini. So this is the brush. Really do like this mascara. It was very nice. Um, and the course that they had in these... Um, Definitely want to get more of these. I really do like the mascara. It was very late and very good mascara. Okay, now and we have a lip liner from LA Gora. Um, okay, I'm not picky about lip liners. I don't like the next ones because they're too dry. This one was like not as dry, but it was still dry. Uh, we got a little. Who the hell? Are you? I have no idea how you are, but you're probably like a eyeshadow. Who knows? Oh, a highlighter. Okay, so we got the Kaja um, blushes. I did actually grab one of these. I really do like these. These are very whip blushes type thing. And of course, you get like four shades of two from. I know I think you can get it from um, Nordstrom. Definitely recommend trying these um, Kaja blushes. These are very beautiful. I love them though. So there's three of them. Then there's the other pan from the... Um, the one palette from What's the Face from Vood, that bronzer that I finished. Then we got this thing is not really, this is a Georgia Armani and this is the new, um, new Skin Foundation. This one is not worth it at all, um, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't really last. If you wanted something similar, try the L'Oreal um, True Match Lumi. It's very similar to this, like Zach on Dupe. And I pan like at least two or, two or three of those. But yeah, definitely not worth it. And then we got some, who the F are you? I believe these are, I really don't know. Who knows the fuck this is? Um, I know this is YSL. This is, of course, I have like 60 of these. Oh, wow. Um, I believe so. these are maybe 50, but I'm not sure. Who knows? But yeah. Okay, so this is all the makeup. Um, now let's get into skincare. Actually, I guess hair. Because my dorky butt had skincare and hair care together, so great job, sir. So we have, of course, you see here I do my roots. You see one of these guys. These are, of course, a little thing that you put in your um, bleach to help the, um, of course, breakage. Love, love, love. This guy is a bond bar on recovery. Um, do I think bond bar actually works? Not really. Um, Oraplex, of course, does an amazing job on my hair. So Oraplex is definitely worth the money. This is like 10 bucks. And it's just like, okay, whatever. Um, this guy I did like. This is, um, I bought this off of Walmart.com. And this is like the Let's Bond. Um, like I, the only problem is that you didn't get too much. It says five minutes wins out, but I left it on for at least oh, an hour or so. Um, the only second part is that you don't get much of this. You only get five ounces. So I blew through this guy quick. So yeah, and these are even less than this guy. So you don't get hardly any product in this guy, but I do really like it. 
Okay, so yeah, I didn't get used that much um, hair care this time. I did get some skincare out, so let's go through that. So this guy's a pain in the ass. So this is, um, whatever the hell this brand is, is a makeup melt spray that you spray on your face and you do it that way. Hate that shit. I love using um, baby oil, um, and I go in with a micellar water from that. So yeah, skip these things. Use baby oil from Dollar Tree. It works hella great. And I also pour, have a makeup wipe from Dollar Tree because why not? That's usually basically I do um, after I I get all my crush shit from Dollar Tree for removing my makeup because hell is cheap. Um, so there's that. I love um, using makeup wipes from Dollar Tree because they're hell, they're cheap and they work. All you gotta do is basically wet them and they do the job. So here's a little, um, I believe I got this off from like BoxyCharm or that one site that is not there anymore, kind of beauty. Um, these are these little eye patches. I still have like another pack left, like a box of these left. Um, these kinds are you like, you gotta make sure you like you lay your head back, like st eyes straight up in the air because they're not, they go, Phew! they didn't really stay. So yeah, that freaking sucks. I was just like, whenever um, Jason was at home, he works at night, so I just slapped the whole underneath my eyes and just went, screw it. Okay, and then we have um, a sheet mask. I think I have one more left. So, and I got it from uh, my box and box charm mystery bags. So I was like, fuck, they had to throw a damn sheet mask in there. Quick. Or it could be a foot mask. But yeah, um, so. So at least I got, I have one more sheet mask and I'm done. Hopefully, no damn sheet mask. And no Arnie and not sending me any more sheet mask. Um, this is the Orange of Major um, Fortified Face Balm. Cool. Um, actually, I do really like this one. It was very light, so I worked on it in the summertime. In the wintertime, I didn't eject shit. Um, this guy took forever to move on, so I'm glad I got him out. And of course, good thing, the only problem is that it expired in February and I was still using it, but it was still working okay. So the only sucky part is that it didn't have a really long shelf life. So I kind of stay away from that one. Here's a little wet on cream, um, don't know, by Ali's Skin. Um, I believe I got him from like probably kind of beauty or boxy charm. This one's nice. I did like it. I just use it kind of like up here, around here, around my eyes, anything like that. That's a pores on my pores, anything like that. You guys, of course, you say how beautiful my skin is. Thank you. Uh, me, I hate my skin because I am like picky. But yeah, because I'm like, I'm a perfectionist. But yeah, so there's that. Even in, like, this drives me nuts. So we got um, a pore strip. I use this every so often, but yeah, not a good idea. Lulu's being a lit turkey. Oh, Lulu. Yeah, Lulu, you can play the box later. And then we have the Neutrogena Share Zinc, um, Zinc, um, sunscreen. I did like this one. It did, um, go on clear. I'm so glad that I got this guy out because, of course, it expired, um, in oh, not oh nine. hello. <laughs> Cup in a few months, in two months. I'm glad I got that one out. And I have, hi, Lulu. Um, cute so there's that guy then we got the wadayo um red blood um mask i just, just use this guy basically as a morning one and it worked great for that one it's another one i got in box trauma or whatever so there's that then we have a uh, revolution yeah i got the man i didn't realize it was man until i got it. i was like really but i did like the ant i did like the um eye cream is uh, well it's a serum he's a mommy's boy did it think it help any like reduce fine lines or uh, and it's um help with like puffiness if you had that. Okay, and then I just finished this guy up the other day. This is German E vitamin C concentrated serum. I noticed I get have like some like dark um like sunspots right here. I'm in my sunspots. I have a moment's completely gone. So I don't know if it's because of this or not. Um but yeah, um Sweet, because <laughs> I have like sunspots like around my nose because I tan. Um, so yeah, that did help. So this that guy, can I see the baby? He's almost eight months. Lulu, can stay here for now. He's gonna help me um calculate this stuff in a little bit. So we got the Kylie Skin um face moisturizer. This one I do really like. If this kind, of, if she had like minis or something to try this out more, I want to try that out. I did like that. 
yeah, he's a mommy's boy. He's sitting on my lap. So we got the bleach, trench, and quench, um, cream to water hydrator. Um, okay, cool. Mini, maybe. Then we got um some. Let's just start off. This I really do like. If you have a problem with sweating, definitely try this guy. This is a degree um Morton sense. Yeah. For me, a um, degree works really good for me in the um the summertime because it helps. I sweat like freaking balls in the um summertime because I'm like my work. I, I'm like, of course, you know, like you freeze your ass off in the winter and then you cook your ass in the summer. You know, like you gotta love you gotta love work, right? And this guy definitely helps. I do really like that. Right now I'm doing um I have um aluminum free and actually the one I have is actually um doing a pretty decent job. Okay, now I get some Dollar Tree shit. So we got, this is um, a little body scrub. This is very, very fine. So it was more of like lotion, actually. And it had like a cup of scrub. So it was kind of like a body cream, body cream, body cream, and it had a little bit of scrubbies in it. So it kind of didn't really do anything for scrubbiness, but it did kind of like have moisturize it. So it was kind of cool. But if you're looking for a scrub, not it. The scrubs from Dollar Tree, eh. Then I finally finished one of these guys up. This is, um, this I really did like. I need to stop buying these damn things, but yeah, this is one of these little soaps from, I love these big dining soaps from Dollar, Dollar Tree. They are really nice. This is a rose and green tea one. I really did like this one. Very, it smelled really nice. I did like that one. Now there's this guy. This is the last one of these, and yeah, don't buy, these don't do jack shit um, at all. Sorry guys, but these do not, they don't even, they don't peel any at all. I know there's some from TJ Maxx. Definitely tried those out. They're very good. Um, but the ones from Dollar Tree don't do jack shit. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm let you know um the total and of course in the description bar or anything like that or in this or how much I did. Um, so anything like that and um I'll let you know where I'm at in the total the big giant total of everything. I'm counting the whole course of horse and eggy thing. So yay. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Um. I got the baby on my lap, so he's cute. <laughs> uh, pretty cat's playing with his um, a little snowball, um, a white cat outside. Not ours, but my neighbor's across the street. So, yay. <laughs> um, so, I do get even so often I get some rude ass um, comments like, Are you retarded? I'm like, You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, go leave. Like, bitches, shut the fuck up. And um, so, so, if you don't like how I talk, um, just hit the damn subtitles and mute my ass. Not that hard. Um, but you know, some people are not that bright. Okay, cool. Um, of course, you know, I always have the thing is saying if, um, usually if you act like a bitch on the internet, it's just like, you know, who wants to be your friend. Um, but yeah, Angie did a whole, and you guys did a whole thing. It's like, hey, I'm not going to be a friend. You act like a jackass on the internet. It's like, I don't want to hang out with you because cause you're not making it, um, public to your... Like, obviously, you make it into the public, the world, that you're an asshole. So, yeah, um, then, of course, the whole entire world knows you're an asshole. Or, okay, for me, no, but still. Um, so, stay case line in my next video. Um, might see, who, who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring. Um, but, yeah, um, I know you guys wanted me to do a you know, whole Asian thing. That's gonna be fun. So, we might do another shit and giggles, because why not? Um, that'd be kind of cool. Um, my kind of shit and giggles is kind of like the thing that I take stupid shit and I just kind of like throw it at you guys and kind of like getting guys into Some of you guys enjoy it. Some of you guys are like, what the fuck? It's supposed to be a joke. So like, I um, should do like a whole playlist of shit and giggles so you guys can, yeah, it's supposed to be a joke. I'm like, like me doing like stuff like that, that is a joke. But, um, like this now, of course, um, is like, it's a joke. I'm like, why are you so freaking dressed? I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. I was like, delete. I was like, I don't have time for bitches. But, and again, I like to shut the play hell up. Um, Sarah, and I see you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.